seeing competition from both today. If we look at the leaderboard, we see that it's dominated by three Belgians. In first place is twice world champion André Malherbe with 290 points. Then the former 250cc world title holder Georges Jove on 263. And third, Eric Gebers with 245. He will not be competing today because he pulled a cartilage in practice this morning. Then in fourth place is Dave Thorpe, the British champion who stepped back badly with his performances in North America. And with 20 points available for each win, mathematically Thorpe could still take the title, although it's extremely unlikely. But he naturally wants to do well in his own country. And he is the fastest qualifier of the day. Now, another rider who could shine, last year's world champion Harkin Carlquist. He won both legs in this round last year, but this season he's been dogged by injury. He returns to racing today. So those are the men to look out for in the first leg, which is raised over 40 minutes and two laps. On this visit to Hawkston Park in Shropshire, we'll see the start. So let us join our commentators, Dave Nicholl and Chris Carter. Welcome to Hawkstone Park. A colourful scene here for this British motocross Grand Prix. And as you said, Dickie, some of the finest riders in the world, and perhaps all of the finest riders in the world, Andre Mulherb, twice a 500cc world champion, Georges Jobe, another Belgian, the reigning 250 world champion, and sadly an injury this morning for the current 125cc world champion, Eric Gabor, puts a big question mark over him. Dave Nicolo, you, you suspect that he might actually come out onto the grid? Yes, I saw the accident this morning, Chris, and it's a nasty fall. I understand he's split or damaged the cartilage. He's received doctor's uh, attention, but there is a possibility he might still ride. So we've got uh, Malherbe, Jobe, the two Belgians, 27 points separating those two in the World Championship. Two races today here at Hawkstone Park, and each race giving 20 points to the winner of each leg. So 40 points up for grabs, and two more rounds to come following this one. So plenty of chance for uh, Jobe to catch Malherbe, and talking to Jobe yesterday, he felt very confident he could do that. Dave Thorpe, fastest in practice, and certainly the home fans here will be rooting for Dave, the talented young 21-year-old. But one or two other surprises, a big surprise and a mystery, is the fact that Graham Noyce, so long the top man of British motocross, has just failed to arrive. Uh, he left his home in the Southampton area at 6 o'clock yesterday morning, and nobody has seen sight or sound of him since then. Meantime, the riders come out onto the grid. There's Dave Thorpe, the British boy, number five. And after time to practice, the riders then have the choice of position. Number two, Andre Mulherb, the man who leads the World Championship, lining up next to Dave Thorpe. Then the rest of the grid slowly coming forward. We're looking for number one, of course, Marcus Carlquist. He was ninth fastest, and he'll be here in the side any minute now. That's number... 66, so we're looking for Carlquist, who there he is, number one, just waiting at the back of the grid to pick a spot. And uh, Hagen Carlquist, uh, the hard man of motocross. This is a rough, tough sport by anybody's standards, and the men who ride and do well are tough, hard men. But Hagen Carlquist, well, he's something special. He's, he broke his thumb badly early on this season, then Two weeks after having had the injury plated, he was back in action. He smashed his finger on the same hand against a ch chestnut fencing and shattered the finger between the knuckle and the hand in seven places. Well, even for Carlquist, that was too much. He put him out for about six weeks, but he's back on the comeback trail. He's determined to do well. Remember, of course, that Carlquist won both races here and the last few men coming up to the grid now. The, st the start just seconds away. Uh, the start to see here, Chris, is the riders on the line now. They have a 30-second board, which is just about to go up. At the end of the 30 seconds, a five-second board goes up, and the start will go between five and ten seconds after that board. So the 30-second board, the riders just uh, moving their things. It's a concrete slab there on. There's plenty of grip there for them, Dave. Yes, the, the interesting thing about the start gate, they mustn't touch that T, otherwise it won't go down. They must hold back. Each, each metal bar there you can see is individually controlled. If the wheel touches that, it stops it falling down into the slot there on the ground. That's the metal bar that holds them back. The five-second board has gone up. They're ready to charge, and down goes the tees, and away they go. And it's number five, Dave Thorpe there, is up with the leading group, and it's Dave Thorpe, I'm sure, who was up there with the leaders, and Dave Thorpe couldn't have had a better start 
if he's tried he's there in second place at the moment no it's uh kurt nickel who's leading my <laughs> Your son, well, Kurt Nichols, Dave Nichols' son in the lead with Dave Thorpe in second place. So we've got British boys, first and second, and Harkin Parkwist is there, number one. So too is at number 35, and that's Lauren Spence. So three British boys in the first four. What a tremendous start to this opening leg here at Hawkston Park. Well, this is a rough, tough circuit. It's one of the toughest in the country perhaps one of the toughest in the world Dave I think it's the best circuit we've got in England and one of the best in the world it's in prime condition today the club have watered all night virtually they've watered again this morning and it's in perfect condition so the pack in pursuit of Kurt Nickel, 19 years of age and if Dave Nickel sounds a little bit nervous you can't really blame him because that's his boy out there and number five Dave Thorpe the reigning British champion is hard in pursuit they're the two big jumps and that was the place that Eric Gabors crashed it down this morning and it's going to be Kurt Nickel who leads well a tremendous performance by Kurt Nickel Kurt on the KTM production machine and uh, certainly not the, the most competitive bike in the race Dave no, Kurt's on a production, purely of machine you can buy from the shop, but he's stuck with it all year and he's happy with it. That's the mammoth climb up the big Hawkston Hill. It's the nattery bit through the top and then down the other side. And it was Kurt Nickel leading at the end of the first lap from Dave Thorpe. And he's still there. And Lawrence Spence is in third place. Well, that really is. And Harkin Carquist has dropped back another place, which just makes me think that perhaps that's George Jobe who's gone through. In fact, it's, according to our lap it was Jukka Sentinel, the Fen, but here they come over one of the jumps again. Kurt Nickel, Dave Thorpe, then Lawrence Spence. David Watson, Calquist, Joe Bay, Sintonen, Pearson. Well, what more can British fans ask for? And there's 20,000 enthusiasts round the, lining the Hawkston Park circuit, and we have four British boys out in front. Kurt Nicholl, 19 years of age, followed by the reigning British champion, 58, that's Nicholl. Number five, Dave Thorpe really trying hard, Thorpe putting the pressure on now. Nicholl, the teenager, under pressure from Dave Thorpe and Thorpe using the, the berms, that's the, the dirt that's been raised up into a rut to the highest advantage he can and Harkin Carlfist is there in fifth place and Kurt Nichols still there holding off Thorpe that's uh, Lawrence Spence well a great right two by Dave Watson and Lawrence Spence Dave Nichols yes that's three factory Kawasaki's in the first six that normally we have Hondas up there but there's a couple of Hondas missing at the moment so we're looking for the Hondas that's number 32, Michel Magarotti, the Italian on the, uh, next year's uh, production. Kawasaki being given a run here today. That's right, that's out for the first time in a Grand Prix this year. And Thorpe's gone through, Dave Thorpe is now in command. And Thorpe, who lies in fourth place in the championship table, desperately would like to uh, pull some back here. Kurt Nichols still there, Lawrence Spence in third place. And Carl Quist, I think, going ahead of Dave Watson at the top of that steep, gigantic, awe-inspiring Hawkston Park Hill. It really is. It, it looks even too steep to walk up when you stand. And that's the descent, with Dave Thorpe now stretching his advantage. 